Hello guys, and today I'm going to teach you about um, my about logic test. But just clear something off, this is my full tutorial. Okay, about that. Now, what logic tests are is a test for Python to say if something is true or false. Like, 5 is equal to 5. Wait, sorry. 5. I did a space. 5 is equal to 5. Ah! Okay, so this is messing up. 5 is equal to 5. True. Sorry, I forgot to put the double. It doesn't work unless you put double equal. 5 equal to 6. It's false. Now this allows us to sit, do problems like 5 is greater than or equal to 6. Ah, I keep doing spaces. 5 is greater than or equal to 6. False. 5 is greater than or equal to 4. True. Ah. And to do not equal to, say is it not equal to, like 5 is not, you put an exclamation mark, equal to 6. It's, I keep doing spaces, sorry guys. As you can see here, it's space. I shouldn't be doing that, make sure. Yeah. So 5 is not equal to 6. True. 5 is not equal to 5 false okay now we can also do and which allows us to do 2 so it's 5 is equal to 5 and 5 is equal to 6 hold on okay Ah, sorry. I'm really sorry about this. 5 is equal to 5, and 5 is equal to 6. False. Although 5 is equal to 5, but 5 is not equal to 6, and it's and, so it has to be for 5 is equal to 5, and 5 is equal to 6. So 5 is equal to 5, and 6 is equal to 6. I see this one. Sorry, guys. True. Okay. Now we can do 5 is equal to 5 or, which means either or, 4 is equal to 2. It's true because 5 is equal to 5, although 4 is not equal to 2, but it's or. But if it was 5 is equal to 6, or 7 is equal to 5. Ah, really sorry. So there's 6, or, I made a mistake and I went in English, so it's equal to 5. It would be false, because the vote wrong. So... There's some logic tests. Uh, yeah, there's also the if statement. So we can go if 5 is equal to 5. This isn't a logic test. But then if it is, then it prints. Correct. Correct. I'll get more into this in my next tutorial. Uh, subscribe if you're on my website. Thanks. Uh